Hello everyone, hope we're all good. Thanks for all your support. Thanks for all your comments. So recently I've done a video about Purple Lack here. I spoke about my experiences with him. The first time I'd met him. And the last time I'd met him. No, I was 16 when I first met him. I was confronted by this 6 foot 5 black man. 22 stone, he's got a grip in my biceps. He wants to squeeze my legs. A car's here, the bomb's here, he's chased me. Get to me, Mars, he's banging on the door. I'm sitting in my mum's, terrified. Yeah, I did the bottom growing up as a kid. You know, he was the bogeyman, he was the myth, he was the legend. You know, so when I first met him, you know, it was very intimidating. The last time I met him, I was coming back from Run Corner on a train, like I said in my last video. And he offered me relationship guidance after hearing about me break up with a girl that I'd briefly been with. My heart was broken and he offered me a shoulder to cry on. I had a few experiences in between as well where, you know, I'd be going to a court, he'd always be in the back of the court with a notepad and a pen and a bag full of slummy. But I still had this deep rooted resentment towards him. You know, I wasn't as fearful as I was when I first had that confrontation with him. As time went on and I'm getting a little bit brave and I've seen a little bit more of him, I'm getting a little bit more fronty. You know, he's in court at the top of the stairs one morning as I'm getting off, elated because I've just been given bail. I've just been given me freedom. I've got my liberty back. I'm bombing down the stairs. I see he's actually at the top. And I just give him loads of abuse. Just told him what I thought about him. And he's legging me. And I'm outside on Dale Street. And he's, you know, he's just gently again jogging next to me as I'm bombing it. Like I said before, he was a gazelle. Like the Black Panther. You know, he was a, he was a rocket. You know, and he's, he's fronting me and I'm with me birds. Sorry, I'm with me sister's fella, Kevin Hudson, and I didn't want to lose face and, you know, I'm fronting the back and just being cheeky, just being a cheeky kid. I was, what, 17 years old. So I, I didn't, I quickly didn't become the flavour of the month with Aki. Every time he saw me, he'd chase me, call me all kinds of names. Can't wait to get you, blah, blah, blah. Didn't know what he was going to do when he did get me. Didn't want to give him a chance. That's the truth. So I was always elusive. I was always on one. This one time I've been nicked him in Wavy Old Police Station. The desk sergeant refuses me bail. You know, and back then you got refused bail on anything. You know, it was a shoplifting charge. I think I dropped some sunshine lotion in the middle of winter. Don't know why. I remember going to... Liverpool Crown Court for sentencing and the judge was just baffled and I sentenced me just for being a dickhead really, you know but when you're in the grip you'll, anything goes yeah, but anyway he didn't get bail goes to Liverpool Magistrates Courts, so you don't get bail at the police station, you've got a bail app well you've got two chances when you go to court, you've got your first bail app and your second bail app, so I'm thinking okay I'll get bail in court it's only a shoplifting charge. Gets to the magistrates. Goes upstairs from Cheapside. Standing in the dock. Turned round to look. He was in the audience in the seated area. And there's Aki. Right. Big snarl on him. His pen. His paper. And he's smiling away. I don't know where you are now, lad. I've got you. I've got you. I'm like a rabbit in the headlights. The judge is looking at me. I'm withdrawing. I just want to get out and I just want to use. And then I've got this to tackle with behind me. The judge said, what's your name? I told him my name. He asked me for my date of birth. He gave me date of birth. Then he wanted me address for bail. And I just looked and I thought, there's no chance I'm giving you my address while he's here. It's not happening. You know, so he had to go NFA. You know, NFA is no fixed abode. No, no fixed abode. You're not getting bail. It's not happening. You know, um, they've got to look for hostels and all that. And then you've got to go downstairs either way. So NFA, I thought, I'm taking a chance here. I'm taking a risk. I'm not giving him my my, uh, my address. So we can write it down at the back. Yeah. And then just just persecute me. And torment me. It's not happening. So I didn't get bail. 
I went to Arnett to suffer. You know, and uh, that was probably one of the last times I, I ever saw him until the last time I did see him. Yeah. Um, but I spoke to a friend today who's, who knows him and he's in touch with him. And, you know, he's recently had something to eat with him. And I asked him, would he put me in touch with, with Aki? Because I want to... I want to sit down. I want to have a little chat with him. You know, it's not um, it's not hard for him to sit down and say, "Look, Bill, you know, back then, you know, I was this, I was that." I think I've got every right to ask him those questions because I was just a young kid. He was scared, sixteen years old, really vulnerable. You know, I was confronted by this man. He was knocking at my mum's door. Yeah, so I've got every right to, to sit down and ask him those questions. You know, why did he do that? You know, what kicks did he get out of it? There was a few people back then like that. You know, there was a kid called Carl Palmer. You know, I remember him well. You know, the big black kid from the South End. You know, he was he was a big hombre. He was smoking loads of loads of crack and just eating full chickens, <laughs> keeping his beef on, and just taxing drug dealers and taxing punters and, you know, terrifying screws when he was on the landings in Walton. You know, I haven't heard much about him for years, but he was, you know, an unruly someone you had to keep away from. You know, and another kid, Barry Williams, you remember Barry, you know, uh, and Jason Allen, the people that you meet. You know, I remember Barry, I've seen him, you know, on Marmaduke Street, down the south end, I was scoring early hours in the morning, I was about 18 years old, I was waiting for this kid, he's come out of the shadows, big pair of shoulders on him, you know, what's happening lad, what are you doing, who are you waiting for, I just said, what's it got to do with you, I'm waiting for me mate, he said, stop being a gangster, who do you think you are, you know, I never really had much beef with him, but I remember, um, one time, and you know, I was on a set of crutches, and about a score on me. It was my last bit of dough, and I was ready to score. And I'm standing on the corner with a few other punters, so to speak. Um, and Jason Allen and Barry Williams come b bouncing down, and everyone just scattered. They all scattered. They knew what was happening. You know what I mean? And I couldn't move because I've got a cast on my leg, and I'm in agony. Uh, and they get a grip of me, and I've got 20 quid in my back pocket, and I'm holding onto it, and they've got me on the floor, and the fucking leather on me. I'm not letting go of this, you know what I mean? They actually had to rip my back pocket off my jeans to get this, this, this 20 quid, and he got it, and that was it, and you know, our uh, lashes. Um, that's the name of the game, innit? But yeah, you don't realise that you, you know, you get older, and and you get bigger and you get less fearful. So yeah, I'd love to sit down and have a little chat with him. Say to him, okay, so what is it with these biceps? What do you get out of it? Are you actually, you know, you know, sorry for anything you've you've done? I don't think it'll happen. I really I don't really I don't really think he's gonna he's gonna sit down with me and have a chat, but Let's see what this kid can come up with, eh? The hunt for Aki is on. Even if I can approach him and get a little bit of content out of him. There's a little bit of payback there, fella. Let me grab your legs. Let me grab your biceps. In fact, how do you approach him and, and communicate with him? What do you call him? Peps. How are you, Peps? What's happening, lad? Or is it Aki? Or is it the full title purple Aki? Or is it Arabiki Achenwell? You don't know if he's going to react to anything, but I asked me mate what he said, and he said he's just like to get called Aki. He's got no beef with that. So you're out there, mate. Let's sit down. Let's have a chat. Let's make this happen. And once again, thanks for, for watching, peeps. Take care.